I always create these videos so that it helps young finance professionals like you to start your FPNA journey. In this video, we are going to cover zero-based budgeting. We will look at the meaning of zero-based budgeting, answer the question which companies should use zero-based budgeting, and finally look at its advantages and disadvantages. In zero-based budgeting, the current year's budget is prepared from scratch without looking at the previous year's budget. In this case, the expenses from the previous year's budget are not automatically approved for this year. This helps avoiding expenses which are unnecessary and ensuring that expenses are incurred only when absolutely essential, as managers must justify each and every expense. Next, let's look at which companies are suitable for zero-based budgeting or which companies should use zero-based budgeting, as it involves a lot of time, effort and cost, it might not be suitable for some companies and industries, especially for companies which are in a stable environment. For them, it might not make sense to use zero-based budgeting. Those companies might use incremental budgeting where you pick up the last year's budget and then add or subtract a percentage based on factors like inflation. On the other hand, for some companies, it might be suitable. For example, companies which are in a very dynamic business environment where a lot of changes happen in terms of the business environment and processes, this might be very suitable. Especially zero-based budgeting is very useful for companies which have just started or are in a growth phase. Next, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of zero-based budgeting. Let's look at the advantages first. First advantage is that zero-based budgeting is forward-looking. As zero-based budgeting does not depend on historical in inputs, it is forward-looking and is based on the future goals of the company. Second, zero-based budgeting leads into a lot of cost savings as only those expenses are approved for which justification is given. Zero-based budgeting leads to a lot of cost savings. It also is more accurate as it eliminates errors from the previous year. As we create the budget from scratch, it does not carry forward any errors or omissions from the previous year budget. Since zero-based budgeting is forward-looking, it eliminates wastage and allocates resources as per the company's requirements. And finally, let's look at the disadvantages. The first disadvantage is that zero-based budgeting is extremely time-consuming as it requires the budget to be created from scratch. Also, it requires a lot of expertise and it is resource-intensive. Sometimes, zero-based budgeting might affect the productivity as it might cut down some expenses which are not directly related to the company's goal but will be required for supporting the employees of the company. Please do like this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you are looking to start your career into FPNA, then be sure to subscribe this channel and keep tuning in for more videos like this.